Hey everyone, Breakfast Sticks here. Recently, my uploads have been incredibly inconsistent, but instead of fixing that, I'll play a game that's a bloody gory mess. Oh yeah. Welcome everyone to Ultra Kill. Before we get into this, first off, what exactly is an Ultra Kill? To put it simply, it's a game masterfully crafted to make you feel like an absolute god who just got sick of the world and instead decided to blast the blood out of some people. Oh, and also, mankind is dead, blood is fuel, hell is full. I'm not quite sure what it is, the fast paced intensity, I'm gonna charge shot you. There we go. Out of here, out of here. Then you two are gone. Nice. The absolute bangers are blasting into your ears. Or just for blood and guts being blasted across the room. But something about this game just makes my brain a 1 4. Yes. 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 yes to a blood and gore. Yes to the insanity in every corner of the room. Yes to getting my ass kicked in by this one idiot. I've only played the first few levels, but I've fallen in love with this game. Now, on with the first level, Into the Fire. A introduction into literal hell. Alright, I'm gonna be kinda of crap at this because I'm usually not great at shooters. And uh, I'm new to this game, so that's just not a combination you want with me. Alright, gotta get these little idiots out of here. There we go. The break core is absolutely sick. I'm barely into, into it. I'm ba barely into even into it. And this is amazing. Alright. Right bus, supercharge, piercing shot. Yo, alright. Yeah, come at me. <laughs> oh, wow. Ooh, I'm gonna jump over that. God damn it, I love movement shooters. Uh, yeah, I can make that jump. Awesome. Supreme. Yeah, I think like this is all based on like uh, point multipliers or something like that. I'm not quite sure. Oh, these dudes can shoot. They're slightly more tanky. My aim is still awful, so that's a sign of greatness, truly. Oh. Yeah, this is what I needed today. This this is what I needed. <laughs> Oh crap. I'm really not great at this though. We should get that up there. There we go. Now watch me completely ignore this crucial game mechanic and just never learn it for this whole video. Yeah, let's pick these dudes off. I reckon I'll get a charging shot in here. Out of here. Oh, okay, there you go. Thing damage temporarily reduces your maximum HP. Hard damage recovers faster when playing stylishly. Okay. I need to break this. Uh, oh, wait, we'll jump. Right. This is the most sick tutorial. Punch you. Out of here. Alright, ground slam, yeah. Wait, there we go, that's how you do it. Okay. Oh crap! <laughs> okay. yeah, I'm just embarrassing myself with how awful my aim is. There we go. 
checkpoint. Oh, it's dark. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Ah, uh, hello. You're, you're looking great today. Oh, okay. I'm not doing well. <laughs> I'm just kind of spinning and hoping it works. And it kind of is somehow. There we go. Now that's badass. I should not be alive right now. That, that was a very messy fight. Whatever. Oh. Here we go. Kills. Wait, was it 71 kills in that short amount of time? After a surprisingly successful entrance into hell, it's time for the next level. The meat grinder. Damn, okay. Uh, where to? Points at the shop at the start of each level. Okay. You have a shop. You Revolver. Can I purchase this? I can. Oh, this is the coin one. Yeah, everyone. This is a cool one. You're not sure. I'll get it. Why not? Uh, yes. Yeah, switch weapons with E. Okay. And then right click. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. And then. Yeah. Okay, it, it seems pretty forgiving with a coin hitbox. That's awesome, because I'm not great at aiming. Oh, I thought that was an enemy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, that <laughs> I completely failed. Oh, <laughs> you're kidding me. There we go. I'm just gonna switch here, I guess. Oh, I should have. Oh, ooh, ooh, god. Okay, now <laughs> way too close to dying. What is that thing? Oh, okay. Locked off, I guess. I'm gonna pierce you all. Oh, oh. I didn't realize there was a grinder down there. Instead of learning from my mistake, I decided to hurl myself into a meat grinder a few more times. Oh. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. I probably can wall jump out of that trap, can't I? Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Uh, what is that thing? It's gone now. Is that another robot? I think it is. Get yeah, over there. Whoa, he's got like a sword and crap. Why is that in the bubble? I might redo that one because I don't think I did great at all. I got A full time. That's what? Okay. Wait, no restarts, but didn't I die like heaps of times? Alright, so you know what? This is an awesome game, and I'll say it. My commentary is very mundane from this point forward. But don't worry, I have solutions. So that two hours of footage I recorded and commentated over, screw it, get it out of here, off to the side. From this point forward, things are getting better. So here is my quick, entertaining review slash commentation and get slash gameplay slash abbreviation of a meat grinder level to the V2 fight. Buckle up everyone, cause stuff's about to go wild. Welcome to Breakfast Sticks Ultra Kill Extravaganza. After the first few rooms of a level, I'm introduced to a few new enemies. What are they? I don't care, you don't care, all we know is that they're dead. Go up this staircase and- oh, what's that? Insufficient firepower? What a load of bullshit. Okay, go down a staircase and in this room, what's that? Sword machine? Okay, in this point of the script, it's literally just telling me to say, shoot, shoot, die, shoot some more sword machine, more like dumb machine. I think this isn't an ultra kill extravaganza, this is just my plunge into insanity. Moving on. What's that? Shotgun? I can break that wall now? 
can kill a few more things, and oh yes, you guessed it, more sword machine. This time I died plenty of times. How fun! So what was my rank? D. Yeah, not not exactly my proudest achievement. Anyway, after massacring a few more things and getting a new shotgun variant, boss room. What's that? Guardian of Hell? And there's two of them? Haha, <laughs> more like Guardian of... of... uh... Dead. Yeah, Guardian of Dead. <laughs> really got him there. Yeah, now I'm past mouth health. Further into fiery pits I go! Oh, no, this... this is actually really nice. Damn, bro, I gotta visit hell sometime. Well, picked up those skulls and put them on platforms, and what's that? Oh yeah, new demons. And these ones explode? Whoa, whoa, what's that? A nail gun? That shoots at the speed of light? Count me in. After demolishing stuff with my new toy, well, new nail gun version? Back here, what a lovely place. And everything is on fire. There are also these new dudes that can both carry my attacks and have flamethrowers. God damn, okay. So a bit of killing things later while listening to the track quite literally called Complete and Utter Destruction of the Senses. Why does all the music in this game hit hard? And now I'm in a castle with yet another awesome song playing. This game can't take a break. So what now? Oh yeah, killing things. Also me predicting this statue will come to life. I was, like, I was looking at those dudes and praying I didn't come to life. <laughs> oh, then I did! You're kidding me! Anyway, next boss. Hideous mass. Oh, come on. Surely you're not that bad looking. Oh, God, never mind. So with this big boy, you really just gotta dodge a bunch of shock waves. And also try not to get hooked. Because if you do, you just get slowed down completely. Uh -huh, I'm doing real good here. Oh, okay, now you're just throwing a hissy fit. Nail gun spam managed to get me through this after quite a few tries. I really need to get better at this game. Haha, <laughs> hideous mass. More like hideous dead thing. Here we are. The final level of limbo. As you enter the level, it brings you the quite pleasant scenery, a calming piano track playing as you walk through this castle, until eventually you approach a door, requiring three blue skulls to open. You search through the castle, gathering these skulls give a slow, methodical build-up. You can just break the window. No, none, none of the skulls are needed. You can just break the window and walk straight in. I walked into the room, and then... There you are. Hey, dude. Oh, crap! <laughs> oh, wow. This dude is beating the crap out of me. Oh, wow. Oh! <laughs> instantly got me out of there. I got my ass completely demolished by this dude. And then it hit me. They are exactly like me, just a lot better. So when I say this took me an embarrassing amount of tries, I mean it. So without further ado, prepare the deaths.
Ah, out of here. Oh, oh my god. Oh, bro. Put his arm. Oh my god. Holy moly. That was difficult. That was... That was incredibly tough. <sighs> oh man. I'm in shock. I got his arm now. Uh, he's kind of up and left. So... I guess the moral of that is, with enough nail guns to spam, anything is possible. <laughs> oh wow, that was a messy fight. Oh, I'm scared to see you, Oh, All my research is going to be awful. It's going to be like 50 or something like that. I spent 45 minutes on that bird. <laughs> 63 resorts. Well, that was incredibly chaotic. Uh, I didn't exactly play an outro. I just kind of recorded, so I hoped something good would come out of it. Ultra Kill. That That's a fun game. Get it if you haven't. Uh, yeah, that's all, that's all. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, goodbye.